Hello traders, how you guys doing? For the ones that don't know me, my name is Fidel. I'm from California, the Central Valley to be exact, you guys. And today, you guys, we're going to talk about a simple subject, but it's good to learn, especially for all the beginners, so you can understand the market a little bit better when it comes to understanding the lingo. So today, we're going to talk about the language and about what every word means and the definition of every word basically the language of the stock market okay you guys so let's get into it, you guys because you know it's a list we have to go down and there's a lot of words in the stock market all right you guys let's start you guys okay you guys let me see where is number one all right you got a ticker a ticker is basically a stock what ticker are you talking about basically aka what stock are you talking about all right you guys a ticker Let's move on to the next one, you guys. A chart. A chart is basically like a map. You see what I'm saying? It's giving you directions. It's giving you indicators. It's giving you a story. It's telling you that it's going up and that it's coming down. It's basically telling you every move that it's making. A chart. And a chart, you can look at it from one day, five days, one month, three months, five, no, six months, one year. Uh, I believe it's three years, five years, and uh, and so on. Okay, but that's the chart, you guys. All right, and I recommend everybody should learn how to read a chart. And I made a video on that too, so you can learn how to read a chart. It's very important because every chart tells a story, you guys. All right, let's move on to the next one, you guys. The next one is a uh, buy limit. Basically, you guys, a buy limit is something that you're trying to purchase at the price that you want to purchase it for. All right, and what I mean by that, let's say you're looking at a ticker, at a stock, again, and that ticker, the price is currently $2.50. So you put a price that you want to buy it for $2.50, no more, no less, okay? And usually it has to hit that $2.50 by trending down or by trending up, all right, you guys? So that's a buy limit, all right, you guys? Market buy. Market buy is basically you buy it at the price that the market is asking for it that second. And you know sometimes it changes within a second to a blink of an eye. It's a different price. So that's a, that's one of the difference of buying a limit or buying market. You guys, me, I always buy mark. I always buy sorry limits. And the reason is you guys because I purchased something at the price that I want. In the end, it helps me save a little bit of money and it helps me buy a little bit more shares. Because when I buy a market buy, I buy it at the price that the market is moving. So I, my intentions are that I want to buy that ticker, that that stock, every share for two dollars and fifty cents. And when I purchase it, it becomes two dollars and fifty two cents, or to two dollars and fifty three cents. So it will cost you a little bit more. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes with that money, you could buy a little bit more shares as well. All right, you guys. So that's the difference. All right, you guys. Sell limit, you guys always try to sell something if I'm confident that's going to hit that price. So that's the definition of a sell limit, that you're going to sell something at a price that you think is going to get to or a uh, resistant price or uh, uh, a price coming down, basically a sell limit. You see what I'm saying? So I bought it at 250 I'm going to sell it at 255 because I'm pretty sure it's going to hit 255 That's a quick example. That's a sell limit. All right, you guys. Stop loss, you guys. A stop loss is basically, uh, basically like a little uh, you telling the broker that you want to sell all your shares or some portion of your shares if it drops below this price or at this price. You see what I'm saying? Quick example: I uh, bought in at 250. I put a stop loss at. 245 so if it goes below 245 it sells all my shares automatically or a portion out of my shells out of my shares because I'm cutting my losses because if it draws more than that then I will lose more money you see that stop loss let's move on to the next one a B what B WAP basically you can hear that often a B what is basically a definition of a line that helps you indicate if it's trending up or trending down or sometimes it has to break over it to keep going or or it's, it broke below it and it's going to keep dropping you see what i'm saying all right that's a b wop okay the volume you guys the volume is basically the volume of the stock market sometimes you know open bell it starts at let's say 500,000 couple minutes later 20 minutes later it's at 750,000 
you know, then a couple minutes after that, it's at 1 million, and so on, and so on. See, more people are getting involved, or more people are buying more shares that is growing the volume. You see? All right. That's the volume, you guys. Now, the average volume. The average volume, you guys, is that, uh, is when you buy, is the average volume tells you in the chart that this is the average volume that it moves every day. So let's say it's 500,000. You see what I'm saying? So that's what average volume that it moves every day, you guys, at 500,000. Okay, you guys? So that's the average volume. The market gap, you guys, is basically the price of that ticker, that stock that you're looking into, you guys. And sometimes that price is is the basically the net worth of that company. You see what I'm saying? Okay, you guys. The alerts, you guys, it basically helps you keep track and alerts you when the price is moving up or down, okay? All right, you guys. New highs is basically when a ticker hits a new price, a higher price that it haven't hit or it haven't hit in a long time, all right? That's a new high. A new low is when it broke below the lowest price that it have had in a while or forever, okay, you guys? Let's move on to the next one, you guys. Let's try to make this quick. We have a lot. Percentage, basically it tells you how much percentage gain you have made out of that share or how much percentage gain you have lost from that share. Okay, a watch list is basically a set of tickers, aka stocks that you make yourself, in a, for example, on a piece of paper and that's the, what you're going to watch, look at for the next day. Okay, you guys? Support, you guys. Support is basically a level that it holds and it does its best to stay there and don't break below it as a support level all right you guys now uh resistance resistance is the level that when it hits it drops below basically like it slaps it back down you see what i'm saying and sometimes it will try to hit the resistance a few times before it breaks or sometimes it will never break it will just drop back down okay you guys now pre-market you guys pre-market um is basically those 30 minutes before the market opens to the rest of the public okay you guys all right and sometimes you have to pay a little bit extra money to be able to trade pre-market those 30 minutes all right you guys um after hours markets for me i'm in california the market closes at one you see what i'm saying but usually um you could have access to those other three hours again if you pay a little bit extra money all right you guys because if i'm correct i believe the market closes about uh i don't know if it's six o'clock i'm not sure but yes okay all right you guys um news is basically the news that have came up with the stock you know something some type of news of some uh, catalyst of some sort a warrant fda approved whatever you know that's news okay you guys Cut losses, you guys, is basically when you're in the negative and you cut your losses, you sold everything, you sold your shares for a negative price that what you bought it for, okay? That's cutting your losses, you guys. And sometimes what I tell the people is that uh, you only win or you lose when you sell. Remember that. You only win or you lose when you sell. All right, you guys, let's move on to the next one. Profit is basically money that you made, money you took home. All right? Great, you guys. Um, the other one. Bears, you guys. Basically, a bear just comes in, comes out. Comes in, makes profit, comes out if he does it right. All right? Basically, it just comes in, comes out. Okay, you guys? That's a bear. A bull, you guys, tries to ride the stock. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Rides as long as he can. Try to get as much as he can. But sometimes, a bull will hold it for a couple days or even longer than that. Okay, you guys? Let me see what else. Let me grab my other piece of paper. We are almost done. Uh, a broker, a broker like Robinhood, U Stock Trade, Fidelity, um, you know, all those brokers, you guys, the third party providers that uh, you go through to purchase the tickers, aka the stocks. Okay? Penny stocks, you guys. Penny stocks are micro gap companies, small timers. What I love about them is that majority, a lot of them have high volatility, and that makes the stock move more than 10 percent within a day okay you guys all right let's move on to blue chips blue chips are bigger companies home name companies all right that are worth more than five dollars you know five ten fifteen twenty etc okay you guys let's move on to the next one mega mega what i forgot mega something you guys but that's a bigger stock company that's worth you know 
80, 100 bucks, more than that, etc. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, you guys, shares. How many shares are you going to buy tomorrow? And what ticker? You see what I'm saying? That's the share, you guys. I hope you guys understand. I try to make this video quick. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, any comments, please let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys join the group, Watch to Trade. That's the perfect way to you to get in contact with me, get my watch list, and be able to learn from other traders like myself. All right, you guys. Talk to you guys soon. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.